A supercar is defined as anything that was ahead of its time. It was ahead of the curve, they were faster, they were built of more exotic materials, and they were always known as being a benchmark. The supercars we're offering were all developed in different ways to accomplish different feats. The 959, for example, was developed as a technological tour de force. All-wheel drive, turbos, very interesting body composites, and was developed in the early to mid-80s, which was far ahead of its time. The 959 was meant to be driven at high speeds on the German Autobahn. The car was incredibly fast, incredibly comfortable, and very well suited for high-speed touring. The 200 mile per hour benchmark was always something that everyone wanted to accomplish. It really wasn't until the F40 was developed that a manufacturer was able to break the 200 mile per hour mark with a street legal car. The F40 was an incredible car. It's widely known as Enzo's last car. It, it was built out of carbon fiber and composites. The twin turbo V8 in the car was a fantastic motor. The interior of the car was just raw carbon fiber, manual wind windows, strings for door handles, you know, air conditioning was optional. They're just raw race cars for the road. The F40 and the 959 put Ferrari and Porsche back on the covers of magazines and back in posters on bedroom walls. The EB110 was Bugatti's comeback. It's a luxury supercar capable of speeds in excess of 200 miles an hour, but clothed in a very comfortable, nice body with luxurious interior. The engineering and motor for this car is phenomenal. It has a 3.5 liter V12 with four turbos. Four turbos aren't something that are comfortably or easily done in a supercar, uh, and very rare for that matter. In developing these three cars, the 959 is known as a technological tour de force, whereas the F40, when it came along, was more of a crude, raw race car. When we got into the EV110, that car was more of a luxury supercar. It could easily break 200 miles per hour, it could easily be driven down the Autobahn, and it could easily be driven around town. These three offerings are very much emerging supercars and emerging collectibles. The F40 being the last car that Enzo developed, the 959 being one of the first supercars from Porsche, and the EV110 being the car that actually brought Bugatti back. All three of these have significant places in history and histories of each brand. <laughs>